Hey guys, before this video starts, I wanna let you know that we do have a brand new Legends Media drop happening this Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can hit the link in the description below to head to the Legends Media site and get ready. We have tons of new items coming. We have a new long sleeve t-shirt that I'm wearing. We even made an awesome new flannel, hoodie, another rad t-shirt, and then a bunch of accessory stuff. So get stoked for that and enjoy today's video. Ugly. You need some new ones, bro. Just a little. Oh, man. Yeah, well, a little dirty. dirty. I'll <laughs> clean it for you. Don't worry. All that jam, bro. Ow! He's getting rid of his FRS. He put his car back to fully stock, and he's actually getting rid of his carbon trunk, these Tom's taillights, and even some little carbon fiber APR mirrors. So instead of letting them go to waste to some random, we're doing it on the BRZ. So we have lots to install today. Let's get to it. This is the innovative dynamics trunk. We have the Tom's taillights. These are actually way better than stock. You guys saw this at the beginning, but dude, way better. These are gonna be dope too. I just did mirrors on the GTR, so now literally all my cars are gonna have cool little carbon fiber mirrors. So quite a transformation tonight. Let's get to it. So we're done with the taillights and we're moving on to the trunk now. Go ahead and remove all of the bolts on the trunk and then mount this up and then we'll, and we'll be putting the lighting in once the trunk is actually on. Currently got John in here working on all of the wiring for the gauges too. That's something that's a pain in the butt wiring everything up, but John is a mastermind at all of that. While we're working on the exterior, we've got John doing that. I should be able to take this car home. That's nice, dude. I like how it has the duck bill too, so it's not exactly like stock. It adds a little bit of little, mm, little, little spice, mm. right, spice in there. So stock versus the carbon trunk. We're gonna go ahead and throw this one on. Very easy process. Let's do it. Okay, everything's buttoned up. We have the latch, we have the lock in here, and the lights, and even my license plate. Oh. Damn. <laughs> that looks fucking <laughs> sick, bro. Okay, carbon fiber trunk is now installed and it looks amazing. Now for the last thing we have to do, these APR side mirrors. These are gonna look super sick as well. So these are actually really easy to do too. Just 310 mils and this thing will pop right out. Look at these nice mirrors, Danny. Race car. Damn, that actually looks pretty tight. Bro, I know it's messy. All right, mirrors are now done. They look really awesome and I'm stoked about these. Let me close up the hood real fast so you guys can see what it looks like. The hood closes. It actually changes the look up of the car a lot. This car's got like a full makeover today. Mirrors, taillights, and the trunk. Those mirrors are like different style than what I put on the Evo and GTR, but I like them a lot. So unfortunately I was planning on taking the car home tonight, but this gauge pod actually ended up not fitting either. The gauges are a different size than what gauge pod allows for. So unfortunately we didn't end up finishing up these gauges and the tuner that was in a base to my car ended up not being able to make it tonight either. So just a whirlwind of bad luck night with this BRZ, but it's cool. The car got a makeover and it actually looks really, really cool now. I'll give you guys a little back shot in a second, but unfortunately I can't really make the video I thought I was gonna make today. So I'm feeling we should do a little Q and A whenever I get back home. It's like midnight right now. So I'm gonna head back home. I'll see you guys at the garage tomorrow and I'm gonna post on Instagram and Twitter for a little Q and A action here. And actually, before we leave, I actually want to show you guys, John was actually able to wire everything, like I said earlier, and everything works. It's just that st this stupid gauge pod doesn't fit. So we're going to wait to make it all nice and neat once we have every piece. So this is going to get taken to hopefully get fixed. Maybe, Maybe uh, get this overlaid in carbon fiber and make it a little bit tighter in the holes so that the gauges will fit. Before I leave, I wanted to show you guys the gauges light up because it's going to look really good with the full setup. And boom. 
<laughs> so sick. So imagine those gauges with this gauge pod and carbon fiber all lit up blue with the blue car. It's gonna be sick. I'm very, very excited. All right, let's head to the shop and do the Q&A. We have finally made it back from the shop. Like I said, unfortunately, the BRZ was unable to be finished, which really sucked, but it's totally fine. It'll hopefully be done by the time we get back from Thailand. So I asked you guys to send me a bunch of questions on Instagram. So I'll go ahead and answer a few of these for you guys. What's next for the WRX? The WRX has been a really big topic for questions on the channel since I haven't really put it on too much, but with the Subaru, there's not much left that I really need to do with that car besides bring it to the body shop, get the front wide body pieces finished, as well as I really wanna go with air suspension on the Subaru, so I'm pretty sure I would do air suspension next on that car, but there's a lot of other projects that I wanna get finished before then. What other cars am I looking to buy? Um, Definitely an R34, my goal for 2019 is to buy an R34 in Japan and then I'd really like to do a 240Z build at some point. More realistically, the 240Z build will happen pretty soon. This is a pretty good one. What is your plan on the future? Do you plan on making Legends Media a huge company and keeping it only closed or do you plan on opening your own sort of shop? I would never open up my own like mechanic shop. I think Legends for me is what I run all of my media out of. It's more of a media company for me and it, yeah, it's like a creative outlet for me to do all of my fun things with merch and video and stuff like that. How much horsepower are you looking to make when you start the turbo build for the R32? I want to stay around the 500 range. I think I'd like to keep it in the same amount of power as the Evo. We'll see. We'll see where it ends up. Out of all of my cars, which one is my favorite? I think my favorite is the GTR. And that car just has so much history and so much behind it. And I think as a kid looking up, the GTR was always that one car that you've always wanted. And I think that for sure is my favorite car out of all of them. What's your one favorite thing about all of your cars and any more plans on the Evo? So I think my one favorite thing about all of my cars is being able to start from the bare minimum, completely stock, and then drive them like continually through the entire process of me modding it. I think it's so cool to feel how a car is completely stock and then build it up as much as you can and then see the different stages and drive it in the different stages because it's all completely different. For the Evo, the last plans that I really have for that car I do want a different exhaust and I'm gonna do the entire interior of the Evo. I really like how the exterior sits right now with the Voltex kit and the T37s and it's super, super clean with white and carbon fiber, but interior definitely needs some love. So if you could do one absolutely different build, what would you do? I don't know, I think the most different build that I would really like to do is a K swap in the BRZ. Um, I've only seen one other one. The K motors are so good and no one utilizes them. They can make a lot of power with a stock block. So I think that's the craziest build I would do at the moment. Okay, this is a good one. This will be the last question. This is what did I study in college and what advice would give to start a business like mine? I studied criminal justice in college. I literally studied absolutely nothing that pertained business to media to whatever. I did the exact complete opposite of what I'm doing now. So that just shows you that you don't have to go to school for what you love. I mean, the best advice that I can give is if you're truly passionate, then you'll work as hard as you possibly can to make whatever you want to do happen because that's what it was for me. I mean, this is what I absolutely love and I can't imagine doing anything else. And so I worked as hard as I possibly could to make this work. And now I have the Legends Warehouse. I'm running a the merch line. Crazy. And it's just all because I worked as hard as I possibly could to make it happen follow your dreams, I guess. I mean, that's exactly what I did. No matter if you're in school for counting or if you're in a, if you're in school for being a doctor, if this is what you wanna do, then you work hard for it. <sighs> all right, with all of that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Me and Tiana are actually about to, should go in here? <laughs> We're actually about to leave to go to Thailand, so I'm just cleaning up the warehouse, making sure everything is set up and good to go before we leave. By the way, this Sunday, we are we're having an all new Legends Media drop. So the shirt that I'm wearing, the flannel, we even have a hoodie. Um, here's the other shirt and a bunch of accessory stuff is dropping on this Sunday. We haven't done the drop in a very long time, so I'm excited to finally get a new one out there. It drops at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The first link in the description is where you can go to get ready for the drop. But just taking a look at the cars before I leave for a week and a half. So videos may be spotty over the next week and a half, like I said, because we will be in Thailand, but just know I'll be back and we still have a ton of stuff to do on the cars. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.